Rim, 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 rim. Give me your answer, do. I've <laughs> been sat here for five and a half hours trying to get Rim Rim to even load in the first place. I deleted everything on the planet. Do you have that type of power? I put it back. I felt a bit rude. I put it back. I put it back. This is a very rude thing to do. A uh, total annihilation of a whole world of people. It's not commonly considered the nice thing to do. Reject Muffalo Madness. Embrace Rocks Readiness. I had to think of a second word. Rocks. Rocks Rapidness. Rocks r Cool Guy. <laughs> anyway, I tried to make this faster because I'll be honest, this is like borderline unplayable. It's, it's, it's actually just a bunch of old people not dying and slowly hobbling around the place, running at 16 frames a second. It's a horrible experience. It is a horrible, horrible experience. Yeah, I can't stop playing. Uh, anyway, I took a few things out, tried to fix it, broke everything, put it all back. That's been my day so far. Honestly, five hours well spent, and now I'm starting my day's work at at two in the morning. <sighs> Today, a gift for you all. We get to watch some old people die. It'll be like the purge, but with more bingo. Please put some clothes on. Oh, get out of here. I suppose you don't really need to wear clothes if you're an animal person because you got fur. So you can just like, I mean, that probably won't hold up in a court of law. Don't listen to me. Yesterday, sweet, or oh, day before. I don't remember, sweet precious Gert the Gifted died and left behind a very smelly corpse that I couldn't even bury in a funeral. That funeral was interrupted by Disaster, who we executed and dumped in this river, uh, except their body's been cleaned up by the, uh, the game cleaner. So, I mean, just pretend they're there. It just was like right there in the water being all smelly. Giving everybody tasty, tasty typhus. Ooh, reject my flow madness. Embrace rocks reliability because that is what I'm trying to do today. I'm going to make a stable and perfect experience for which we can enjoy a bit of rim rim. <laughs> One day I'll get it right. Anyway, yeah, you know what I am going to do in terms of building? Uh, firstly, I'm going to slap down some towers because they look cool and I think it will make my walls look a lot, a lot nicer because right now they look kind of shitty. What the hell was that called? What the hell is Fool's Mithril? Ooh, that sounds fancy. Is it any good? Fool, fool's Mithril? What the hell is Fool's Mithril? 41 of it. Hello? <laughs> I don't even know what this is. A rare metal, highly sought after for its strength, lightweight, and malleability. Oh, it's Plasteel. Oh, it's just bloody Plasteel. Why is it called Fool's Mithril? And it looks very different as well. To be fair, there is a mod I've got in the mod pack that changes, funnily enough, all of the default base game things that I couldn't remove from the game because they were needed by mods, to other things because this is on RimWorld. Give me these wall corners and put them in the bin. Of course, if we get Raiders turning up now, we're in a little bit of trouble, admittedly. Laura, Laura, you 73, Laura. Is that far too old for RimWorld, Laura? I'm sorry, I forgot my original point there before I was overcome by definitely not Muffalo Madness. No, 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 that's illegal now. Our burial site has been forever tainted by the acts of the lady's name yesterday who I've forgotten. You know, the person who looked like the Joker. She who shall not be named. You thought I'd forgotten her name. No, no, no. It is forbidden to speak it. Disaster has forbidden anyone to speak her name after she defiled the Bungus burial grounds. The final resting place of Ungus Bungus and... Chuck Rock, who were originally chosen to build this colony, chosen by the Rocks... What are we supposed to do now? I think there's only one thing for it, right? We should keep our dead safe. Safe away from those who would try and harm us, like she who shall not be named, whose name I definitely remember. We shall build a mausoleum. Do we have mausoleums? We have a sarcophagus. Well, that's a good start. Hang on. Uh, catacombs. Yes, we will build a catacomb to lay our dead to rest where they will never be disturbed again. But mariage, mariage is on between a mecha, nugget, booze, axe, bungus, and Dina Stenchfling, who is willing to change her last name to booze, axe, bungus. Oh my god, you're keeping the dynasty alive. Thank god that went in that direction. Bear in mind their child that they've already had is sickly Stenchfling. So the booze, axe dynasty may, in fact, live on another day. What's happening in there? That's none of my business. Oh my god, no way. No way have we finally reached the medieval era. <laughs> uh.
Oh, it's just a perfect experience. So well crafted. Can someone go back in time and at the very moment where I say, hey, I've got a great idea. I'm going to take everything out of RimWorld and then build it back with Monster in the Workshop. Can someone go back and stop me? Because I have regrets, many regrets in my life. But at the top of the list is this series. It's so close to greatness. But there are just so many glaring issues that I don't think could ever be fixed. Not by the hands of mortal man. What are you doing? What's so special about this table? They fucking love this table. Sickly became a child, baby. Sweet baby Sickly. Hello. You have amazing hair. In fact, you have your father's hair. Oh my god, of all the different haircut mods I included in this game, you've directly inherited your father's hair. How odd. Chronically ill. Entomophobia. Biotically dull. And... A hideous head tattoo to go along with it. I don't think of all the things you can inherit from your parents. Your hairstyle is one of them. I mean, societally, possibly, but certainly not in the sense that you're born with your parents' exact haircut. God damn, 536 TPS? Maybe I did fix something. It's not good enough. I want 1,000 to uh, the very minimum. Here you go. You are, you are my, an incredible character, and I'm deeply attached to you. I, I wish you would die. <laughs> <laughs> Robo chicken, you're incredible. You're incredible, and I love the fact that you enjoy the soup here. Uh, my God, I hope you die though. Cowabungus, sweet, precious, cowabungus, perish, boil and die. Do me and the future generate. Not like do. Let me finish my senses. I'm not telling cowabungus to do me. Do me and the future generation a big favor, and die. Blessed goose desired. <laughs> Is that something I've done? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, Blessed Goose desired, my brother? What, well, Blessed Goose? As close to rocks as I could, yep. Wait, what's the Blessed Goose? Is that the statue? Oh my god, I added another. I remember, I remember. It's all coming back to me. That last episode, okay, I recorded when I was uh, on like one hour's sleep over the course of about six days. So you gotta gotta let me try and re uh, reinternalize everything that happened. Catacombs, somewhere where we can bury our dead and not have to worry about somebody interrupting the funeral with violence, spilling spl spilling blood on the sacred grounds. I should probably not record this right now, but if I don't, people will say, "Where's Rim Rim?" Oh. I know how Sisyphus feels. The boulder is Rimwald, and I am. Sisyphus. That's where I was going with that. These hats should lower your manipulation manipu because you can't see where you're going. My god, I, I actually can't speak. This isn't a bit. These hats should lower your manipulation because you can't see what you're doing. Oh my god, please be death. Please be dying. Chicken Robo is frail and has old age. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to revel this in too much. I promise. I, I promise I'm not like specifically. I am ramped it up to some mad level to try and kill them all off. These are uh, 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 very good and kind and nice characters which have helped build this city into the mighty place it is right now. However, if they live uh, realistically much older than the age of 60, they're going to completely overshadow the next generation and then we're going to miss out on all of their development. We've got to give everybody an equal time in the sun. I hope you understand that. Die. Die, boil and die. Who's the other person? Oh, no, Inigo. Oh, I didn't actually want Inigo to die. Oh. Bear in mind, this isn't the mortality thing. Mortality is you are basically about to die. You are on your deathbed. You have a few weeks. Say goodbye to your family. This here, old age, is, is treatable. The more you treat it, the, the, the slower you will die. But they are in old age. This is where they will naturally begin to slowly move towards death. But it isn't something that you can predict. Whereas mortality, you're basically dead within like 11 days of it popping up or something like that. That makes sense, okay? You should have old age when you're 80. That's perfectly fine. Oh, bollock and shit. It just occurred to me you can build these things. Defense towers. Which you build with five basic commanders. That's going to be expensive. Uh, but in theory... Wait, these are just the basic ones. Oh, my God. Um, they have, like, a crossbow or some sort of turret in it. And they shoot people. And I'll be honest. That's what we need right now. We need that in our lives. Wait, can they still not get through even with that? Oh. Oh, we can slowly replace the towers. It's not a race. It's never a race. You can always go at your own pace. I mean, unless we're talking about, like, running away from a tiger. At which point, yeah, it's a race. You're racing. You got, probably aren't going to run fast enough. I'm sorry. I mean, look, clearly we don't need one there. What the hell is that going to shoot, huh? Oh, I'd shoot the little mountain gremlins that come out of the mountain. I mean, if there are mountain gremlins, I'd probably want them shot, but there aren't any because this is on RimWorld. 
Everybody knows Mountain Gremlins are base game only. I need serious help. I need serious, serious help. Although on the corners here. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this shit. Ready? Kapow. Got more, more birthday. Old age again. Holy crap. This is nothing I have tweaked. This is, this is not a mod I have touched. This is purely a coincidence. Or it's that patch I downloaded for this mod the other day, but it's nothing I have done. Let's put it that way. I am a sweet, innocent boy here to make sure my people live as long as possible. Die. 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 I mean, I could just not tend them if I wanted to. Obviously, I don't want them to just specifically die. They could have some awesome story moments still to come. But when their time comes, that's it. I'm not resurrecting anybody this series. Where, oh, where should we build the catacombs? Now, very coincidentally... I left this massive area for future development, and I think sticking a big old wall around this, like a wall within a wall, which I understand is many, many walls deep. We put another wall around this, and maybe we have an entrance only coming in from the main road. We definitely don't need turrets on the graveyard castle towers. <gasps> what about zombies? That's a fair point. I haven't got any monkeys in this series because this is Unrim World. There, throw, throw that down. You never know what might happen. I've just crashed the game by... I think I just saw into the Matrix there. What the hell was even that? Was it just me who saw the fucking future then? Good lord. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm placing this wall. There's an enormous tree in the way. Ooh, each one of those is 60 steel ingots. And it's only just occurred to me that that is, in fact, a problem that I may face. Um, steel ingots? Find iron into... What? Smelt iron. Smelt silver. Refine iron into steel. It's right there. I've lost my mind. What are we doing with the iron? Nothing. Why are we not melting iron into iron? Smelt iron ore into iron ingots. Why is nobody smeltering? Smelts. Smelts. Yes, please do. I would like to sort the smelt list. Bruh. Please. Honestly, put everybody on smeltering. There's no point having people in the quarry mining up resources to smelt if we, if we already have more resources that aren't being smelted. It doesn't make any bloody sense. What are you doing? Just go smelt, Ungus Potato. Ungus Potato. Smelt, it's right there. What the fuck are you talking about? Does it count as something else? Wait, well, what job is this? What type of smelt? I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. What the hell have I put quarry on for Ungus Potato? One. Ah. <laughs> Need help. I don't know how to play this game. I just normally get someone to record it for me, but my internet's so bad I can't, you know, I can't get in touch with them and say, hey, please record this game for me anymore. I have to pretend like I know what I'm doing. Hey there, boom. Double the smelting in half the time. Would you look at the unstemmable tide of steel? What was that explosion? Oh. <gasps> he smashed the hot spring. That hot spring was built by Ungus himself. What have you done, Dina? What have you done, Dina? You son of a bitch. You're lucky I've got enough bricks to build a second one. Otherwise, you would be absolutely put to death for crimes against Dungus. Don't forget we've gone up to intense bigotry now. Because we are we are all in on the rocks. You are defying the rocks' this holy will. What's it talking about? Oh, that's right. The furnaces are set up. And now we're going to get so much... Look, I'd really like the crafters to do it. Because it is determined by crafting speed, as far as I recall. Um, Why don't we have... Shit, the crafters are so busy, though. Why don't we drop you down, Kawa? I don't know how the hell that bellows works from that distance. What the hell? Well, I don't make the rules. I'm not a physician, nor am I a physicist. <laughs> Honestly, I might even slap down another, or maybe even two more. Ooh, we could definitely fit. Get this, get this damn wood out of my way. Oh my god, look at that. We went from, like, no defenses to now having basically, like, massive reaching turrets. I feel so much safer already. These fire automatically. They don't need someone to man them. They've got 100 arrows in. You can change it in the mod settings for them to use power. But obviously, that doesn't really make much sense given this is a medieval era. I've got literally nothing to power them with. When you're playing base game rim, rim it might make some sense. I, I need to test something in case this, is, this comes up in the future. Does a healing ceremony cure old age? The moralist is cow of the Curie. <laughs> that's not Curie, silly. That's disaster. <laughs> I would like Inigo to volunteer as guinea pig. Are there guinea pigs in base game remote? I feel like there are. There are definitely capybaras. And those are just kind of big guinea pigs. So I feel like it's close enough. Because if old age is curable, this might be the same as using like a healer mech serum on them. It did not do anything. Interesting. It counts as uh, uh, satisfying. Oh, look at that. The healing ceremony was satisfying, although we couldn't cure the afflicted outright. Everybody left feeling supportive of them. Hopes and prayers. I think that was probably, if it did come out spectacular, 
I imagine they might get cured. Remember that the aim of the game today was Rock's readiness. We are ready for sweet precious Inigo to die, which sadly might be any day now. Uh, or at least almost ready. I mean, I haven't exactly built the graveyard yet, but you got to bear with me. We're going to dedicate a big area to the Bungus family and their direct relatives. Oh, Jesus. Well, that wasn't the person that I wanted. Okay, well, luckily, Chicken wasn't a member of the Bungus family or their direct relative. So, um, I mean, obviously, he was married to someone. <laughs> I was, Inigo. I thought so. And uh, my face when my husband dies of old age. What did you find out so fast? What, did you see him trip and die? Did you hear him from out there? Oh, my God, hang on. Mecha Nugget Boozax Bungus is now a coward. Hold on, is Inigo your mother? Wait. Your father was... Oh, my God. Your father was Chicken Robo, of course. Sorry. The the, the free loving has really made a, a horrible knock-on effect for the confusing family tree for generations to come. Look, I, I mean, forget about archaeologists and future scholars being confused. I'm confused and I'm here. Although that is somewhat par for the course. <laughs> How are we looking? Oh, yeah. I mean, given that we got the same person appearing on the family tree like three times, it's a little bit of a mess. Right. Well, anyway, uh, before Chicken had the... The discourtesy of dying before I was ready. I was going to build that down to roughly like there and bring it over to the mountain. On the subject of Rock's readiness, I have gone through and redone most of the stockpiles on the map. The kitchen, might I add, has never looked bloody lovelier because I've organized absolutely every aspect. Just ignore the tea by the quarry. Okay, that's the overflow. The stockpile I have organized into manufactured stuff at the top. Raw resources at the bottom. And as you can see, the quarry is working perfectly, by which I mean, my God, we've got a lot of lead and not a lot, a lot of stuff that I actually want. I'm also massively regretting my very silly idea of <laughs> let's just make one of everything and let them decide how they want to dress. I, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. There's a lot of there's a lot of shit. Why the hell are we putting fruit juice in the stockpile and not in the kitchen? Uh, fr what is it called? Fruit, fruit juice? Fruit? What is it called? <laughs> fruit? Juice? <laughs> I've gone totally mad. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I cried tears of laughter or, or fear. Fruit juice. Fruit. <laughs> Motherfucker. How do you spell you? Fruit juice with a J. Fucking stupid language. Oh my god. And I built a special shelf for fruit juice as well. I just forgot to put it there. Fruit, fruit juice. <laughs> I was reading a study the other day about the impacts of not only uh, lack of sleep, but also the impacts of getting enough sleep, but also working at night. Oh, God damn you. Why did I fix the storyteller, I find myself asking? Because now our mortal enemies from the divine order have arrived. You don't seem very divine. Well, Lucifer was an angel after all. Oh, look at you. What is that thing? It's a fawn and a ugly fella. And so I genuinely thought it was an arrow sticking out of your head then. It's a moth. It's a bloody moth person. Is that the only group? Oh my God, there's three groups. Oh, Jesus. No, you got spiders of all sorts of shape and color. You've got moth people. God knows what happened down here. Mass deforestation, I can only assume. Hello. Oh, spider people are so fucking scary. Hello. It's a gnoblin. <laughs> <laughs> is that silent? Is that like a, like a gnome? Is that a silent G? A noblin? Okay, okay. Uh, goose school. I haven't built goose school yet. Or at least we haven't started goose school. We haven't opened goose school. It's like old Hogwarts. We missed the train. Oh, gash flinger. Oh, I think you flung your last gash, my friend. Well, they've decided to kidnap who they can and leave. Is that one group gone? Ooh. Hello there. Fire again. Ooh, it fires like double at once. Uh, that's two, two at once. My God. Um, hey, does that mean that that what? That, so that one group is dealt with. We might as well forget it then. I could not save Gash. That was impossible. Bear in mind, Gash had broken down. There was no way for me to get over there and rescue them at all. What the freaking hell do you think you're doing? Are they, they're all leaving. Andrea, get out of there. Andrea, get out of there. Let's come down to the bottom. Hold on. Where, where are you going to run through though? 
They're gonna go shoot my towers. General Kenobi! Oh, they are gonna shoot my bloody towers. Uh, okay, is there a gap in the wall anywhere? There are, oh, I've left the fucking gate open. Oh, who are you? I've got friends, it's okay. We've got fellas from the, oh my God, it's the arcane archeologists. Oh, I like them, but they're not enemies of the divine order. Well, maybe I won't like you much anymore, although you do have a very fancy gun. That is threatening energy right there. Rune hand mortar. Okay, hold on. Um, let's flee to. Are they gonna are they gonna shoot my people? They're gonna burn my base down. Uh igniting Adobe Brick Temple Eve. That's mud. You can't light mud on fire. I have tried. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't make any comment on that. Shoot them. Kill them now. Ooh, they've got a flintlock. Okay, uh, melee characters. Where's disaster? I gave disaster two swords, by the way, because it's always time to chop. Inigo, you are going to go down fighting, my friend. Let's get Boozax up front. Kawa's got a... Oh, Kawa's also got a sword. I was going to say, you've only got your conversion stuff. Copilot's still got a shovel. Give me a sword. Are you shitting me? Why have you swapped your actual real weapons for logs, though? You are a bunch of friggin' idiots, and I hope you all get murdered as well. Okay, um... Oh, shit. Okay. Log squad over here. We'll have melee squad back up by the archers. Ooh, we should be fine. Oh my god, look at her go. Oh my god, look at her go. Get close. Get close. Watch this. Execute. Oh my god, the power of the gooseborn. They did explode into acid. Even she is not powerful enough to keep up with such a thing. Go. Oh my god, these people. These people. These people are amazing. I take back everything I said about you idiot log wielding fools. Okay, hold on. Where have the enemies? They've kind of dispersed. Cypers have decided to steal what they can and leave. Okay, then. Fair enough. I mean, I'm, I'm again, not massively mad. I'm just going to set my people on search and destroy. I have high hopes that all this combat training through years of their life is actually going to pay off. They're stealing my frigging totem again. Another inquisition like this. But this time, you fool, I have actually built weapons and armor. Cowell was not taking any shit. Right, put that back where you got it. Also help me. Um, do I want to recruit any people? I, I'm really going to wait for some people to die first before I can recruit some new people. So I'm going to say max, mass execution. Where are you lot going? Are you trying to fight? Okay, so all the groups didn't flee. I, they were just all fighting the same friggin' tower. Let's turn off search and destroy a second. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, here's an idea for the wall. How about we actually make it so we can shoot out of the wall? Oh my God, those spiders suck. Hey, stop that! Okay, I think that's pretty much problem solved. Oh my god, this moth is unkillable! What the hell's going on with you? Have you got some sort of like... Ah, oh, tough. Very nice. A very powerful moth indeed. Somebody get a slightly brighter than usual light bulb. That'll teach them a lesson. Okay, you don't have to hunt them down though. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. We got people that we need patching up here. Oh, she's stench cats. Okay, the rocks is on it. Ah, oh, rocks. That actually might not be very useful, my friend. Oh god. Who's our medical expert now that Gur is gone? Uh, it is, in fact, oh god, Blackfire, but Blackfire's also 70. Shit. Um, we're gonna have to start training up a better medic, because this is a bit messy. Have we got, like, a young person? Dina could be good. She's actually got a passion for it. Oh my god, is that it? Kawa is too old. Oh my god, we've got no one else with a passion in medical. Wow, this is a terrible time to find out. Dina's 29. We could We can do something with that. In fact, congratulations, you're drafted. You might as well get some field experience. Not like people's lives are on the line or anything. Dina cannot walk. Okay, good work. Great field experience. Um, here, you need to dash bloody fast to get to Stench Cat. That rocks might have killed Stench Cat. Because if Stench Cat had fallen at where they'd fallen and we could have just patched them up there, this would be a very different kettle of fish. I think they're dead. I think they're dead. I think the rocks may have decided it's time for Stench Cat. Boozax has gone catatonic because we didn't help a noble. Oh, well, that doesn't count. I had to reset some of the quests. Damn you, Boozax, seeing through space-time multiversal Boozax. I'm afraid to say, I think the rocks has decided it's your moment, my friend. 0 0.3 hours, 8 seconds. I don't know what I could have done about that. <laughs> the rocks decided it was your time to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit, I mean, I could have stopped the rocks. No, I mean, I can't because they're not draftable. Like, Mrs. Rocks right now has got somebody. There's no way I can remote in and stop Mrs. Rocks. Shit, is Sickly okay? Sickly's been down two hours. Mrs. Rocks, you need to put them down. Where's she taking them, though? Oh, my God, and our doctor's webbed. Oh, well, this is horrible. How long does that last? Yeah, there you go. Where is she... Uh, Mrs. Rocks is actually probably going to kill Sickly. She's trying to carry them all the way to Castle Gooseborn. Oh my god, you fool. Okay, well, Sickly's dead too then. 
No! Your finger curls on the monkey's paw. Blackfield has run wild. Because my wife Gash was, was lost. She was kidnapped. Oh my god, a finger has curled on the monkey's paw. You friggin' idiot rocks! I mean, I would never. Oh, okay, well, Sickly's dead too then. Oh. Shit. <laughs> my doctor has run wild because his wife was kidnapped. The rocks are carrying people thinking that they're helping when these people are on the precipice of bleeding out. You fool! We were the old people were supposed to die. Not the young. Oh my god. Well, okay. Well, thank god I built that graveyard is all I can say. <laughs> oh no, coward. You, you're drafted. I don't really have a choice. Honestly, we're just going to have to get anybody on doctoring, aren't we? Oh, I overlooked such an enormous part of the car. I was like, fine. Okay, we got people who can cook. We got people who can build and grow and craft and think and fight. But I forgot about doctoring. Okay, no one else is dying today. Go. I will min-max all of this if I have to. I don't like doing that because I feel like it takes away from the character's own agency. But you know what? God damn it. I don't think I've really got a choice here. Coward, you should have started running yesterday to start tending to Dina. Bleeding out in four hours. I believe in Cowabungus. Look at them hauling ass. Run, Cower. He can do it. He can do it. Oh, my good co-pilot's gone catatonic. I'm feeling saying Natalie died. Well, that's not really my fault, is it? No. Oh, it's okay. It's just Laura Bungus with hearing loss. Although you've already been hit by old age, haven't you? Wow. Wow. I feel like we've really, we've really met the Grim Reaper today. Okay. That's an unfortunate side effect of game mechanics, right? The fact that I set a hospital specifically for Castle Gooseborn because I thought that would be useful. And yes, I mean, it will be. I'm more like it'll be useful. <laughs> I thought that would be useful, which I think, yes, it will be at some point, uh, has kind of bit me in the ass because the rocks don't really understand the concept of people bleeding out, which, I mean, I can't blame the rocks. The rocks are trying to help. The fuck is this? A funeral procession. We got elves heading over to the Western lands. What's going on? And I was going to say that Disaster's mandate worked perfectly. They weren't able to steal any of our animal totems. They weren't able to defile the name of the rocks in any... Inigo died of old age. Okay, that's not such a big deal. So we can, we can ignore that one. I was saying that Disaster's Mandate worked properly. The weapons, the armor, the militarization, the big solid walls and the towers and everything. They weren't able to get to the rocks, which arguably could be the most important part of all. They weren't able to get to the rocks and defile the holy, the holy blessed ways of the rocks. But our people have paid the price. Our people have absolutely paid the price and it was the rocks that caused it. <laughs> the only two non-combat deaths, of course, Chicken and Inigo were because of old age. Inigo was 82, which I think is a bloody good lifespan for early, kind of late tribal, early medieval. Chicken Robo 78. Maybe Inigo died of a broken heart. Oh, wowie, that's so sad. And then, of course, someone was kidnapped. Which, in theory, we might be offered a ransom because we have the signal fire. It looks a lot worse than it actually is. The only real problems arose from Again, the rocks hospital issues, which I'm not taking the blame for. What I need to do then, I think, is set an allowed area. What we need is something like that that stops non-Gooseborns going up to Gooseborn Castle. So that'd be everybody right now besides Boozex and Disaster for building. Sure, whatever. Maybe we'll allow some permission for people to go up there. But for everyone else, including the rocks, they need to stay far, far away from that. I should probably bring that to not Gooseborn rather than... Goosebawn. Forget about the graveyard walls for the time being, even though I think we would be on much more high alert to not allow our bodies to be defiled as they were last episode. Iho Minongus was a caveman and Chuck was undergrounder. They came from the mountain. What if we return them to their ancestral homelands? A mountain. Oh, this is cool. A heroic memorial. Look at that. Oh, that's enormous. Wowee. Okay, um, I'm not really sure what we want to go for. I guess just standard coffins for now. We can build that out of dartwood, so that works quite well. Let's slap a few of those down. Oh, there's also Grand Sarcophagus. Oh my god. Cheshire has also gone catatonic because Stench Cat died. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mecha Nugget, are you looking at the legacy of your ancestors right here? Oh god. I think we might need to make some other changes to the ideology here. We've got to put our people first. I think it might be time to reject charity and reject healthcare. That's a real problem. That's a real problem. My father, Chicken, died. 
Mecha Nugget lost his father and also lost his child. Please tell me someone is capable of taming you. Okay, I have faith. She's probably high enough skill that she'll get him back immediately. Come on. 37% chance. Okay, okay, that's not too bad. Well, I think that went well. Don't get me wrong. I'm liking the death rates. I think they are in a fantastic place, especially for the older characters. Dropping down at the age of 82, actually totally acceptable. She's probably under a lot of stress too, given everything we had going on there. What I did not intend for, admittedly, is one person to be kidnapped and two people to die from rocks-related game mechanic bullshit. It is technically my fault for building a hospital uh, so far away and having animals set to rescue people. That that was uh, a massive backfire. Obviously, it's worked really, really well before. This time, maybe not so much. We found the issue with that. So that'll be something that I think we try and solve for next time. Now there feels like there's a bit more tension. So I will admit, we had, what, three episodes in a row there where I'm fairly certain the storyteller was totally broken or at least two episodes where the storyteller was broken. So we got away with a very, very easy ride there for a little while and now, obviously, that is clearly fixed. So, uh, yeah, it's something that, I, honestly, I think this is this is balance. I'll let the game have this one. They, it, it definitely deserves it. Thank you for joining me. We should be back to a regular schedule now. Starting on the second channel tomorrow is a brand new series of a game I am terrified with. Uh, fuck it. Let's announce it now. It's Subnautica. It is Subnautica. Lots of people have already guessed it. I am. I don't necessarily have thacelophobia, but the idea of uh, leaping into the deep dark unknown and then turning around and there being an enormous thing staring at me in the face is absolutely horrifying. So I thought as a little um, payback for stopping Starfield so early, because it's uh, very boring, uh, I thought I would play something that hopefully people will get some um, sadistic enjoyment out of. So there you go. You're welcome. That's starting tomorrow on the second channel. On the main channel very soon, going to be starting Game of Thrones uh, Crusader Kings 3 mod pack. When eventually I can get around to building the mod pack, then there is a new playthrough coming to the Elise and Sam channel as well because we were playing Pokemon Infinite Fusion. But I think the save game is gone at this point because I've changed PC. So... We'll see what we can do with that. Anyway, maybe maybe something else coming there. A classic RPG of which I'm a big fan, not to give too much of a hint, but there has your favorite Tiki music coming back for a second time. Thank you to Jeebus Crossed, Sergeant Nero, Ictenio, Dark Desire, Incredible Gurren, Tap Scott, Comrades Andy Candy, Spec, VV Heiser, The Legend Boss, Grandma's Mustache Comb, Swallow My Mayo, Michael Bolt, Panda, Flex, uh, Blex even, Cuddles, Phantom Volpine, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan, Matthew Capon, Deadly Black Bell, Luna, Austin Novacell, Vanessa Greaves, Dwomatsixa, Feraldus, Jerry the Emperor, Mill, Tiny Magnus, Cashless, and That Cato for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you. An absolute content dump coming very soon. I wish I hadn't put quite so much emphasis on that. Thank you as well to Bjornulf, Snake Parts, Edressa, Layforce, Audrey Hershenson, Andre Philippe, Loxorus, Emoja, RX, Delizo, Oliver, Lockett, 217DQ, Andrew McKinnon, and Janosch. Goodbye and see you all tomorrow.